Hola, bonjour, merhaba, konnichi, wa guan. Hello, you know who it is, people? It's Arsenal's Realist. Let's get in the light. It's Arsenal's Realist. I want to thank you all for being here today. Boy, this is just a little one for my subscribers and my views. I want to say thank you very much. Much appreciated. Happy New Year. And I hope you have a good one. But boy, today I was a little bit peckish, yeah? So, I went on a little walk. I was bowling about. I said, what am I going to get? And I do love a little burger, people. And as we know, listen, if you ask me, obviously, you've got the gourmet shop burgers. They're like a tenner. Ten or upwards a burger, and that's standard. Like you know what you get when you get in them. They they're just banging the New York burger, the double this, the double that. But that's like you don't need to review them. You don't need to know because everybody knows. Once you pay a certain number and you just get the double. Like if you get a, like a gourmet double cheeseburger, one punch straight in your mouth, you're gonna be satisfied. Your belly's gonna be twerking all night. We know that. But that's a tenner. So on the lower level now, like, you know what I'm saying, Mac D's, this, that, that, we all know, Burger King's running the show, yeah? Burger King's rubbing the, running the show. The double XL, I like the double bacon, double XL, it's a mad hench thing, but it doesn't even matter what you get. Sometimes I just go in there and I'm like, I'm like, give me that one, I don't even look, I'm like, I want that one, I, I want that one, I don't care, I just yam it. But again, that's getting closer to the £10 mark. Because if you don't want to get the drink and the chips, the chips are dead, the drinks are dead in all takeaway shops, you only save about a quid or a quid 20, so you always end up saying, do you know what, just give me the meal, do you know what I mean, you eat a couple of chips, feed it to the fucking pigeons, the drink, bruv, the drink's fucking a heart attack waiting to happen, it's so not fizzy and got water, and you take one zip, bruv, you explode like a fucking volcano. But with that said, I was out and about, I was doing a little bit of... Like I said, I said, I don't want that. I'm always stressing out what I've got to eat, people. I've got to learn to start cooking properly. But I'm always stressing out, man. It's killing me. That's the truth. But I love a burger. So I went into a little shop a whopper ding dong, yeah, as you know. And first thing I'm saying, straight up, no lies. Man bought a pineapple. What? Tell me something. Tell me something. But first thing, look at this beautiful little pineapple, yeah? Imagine where it's come from. Who knows? This could have come from fucking the Caribbean. It could have come from the Mediterranean. It could have come all the way from fucking... What's one of them little shysty Virgin Islands? A little Virgin Quay Island. But it's a beautiful little fruit. It's heavy. What I'm saying is this grows from the earth, people. Water. Sunlight. Photosynthesis. I don't know much more, but it grows... And think about that, it's a natural process. Obviously, you know this ain't natural. These are getting grown in some lab, probably, underneath the fucking Emirates. But my point is, is real. You'd think, in times of need and struggling, a fruit, a pineapple is really mad and sick. And it is, but let me leave that there for a sec. And now we got the future pineapple, yeah? The Rustler's Burger, two pound. Rustlers flame grilled quarter pounder with cheese and our signature sauce. Brilliant! And then there's something very shysty it says on here, yeah? I don't know if you can see it. Do you see what that says? I'm going to read it to you, yeah? But I don't like it. It says, fully traceable to the farm of origin. Now, listen, I'll talk about that in a sec. But first point I want to make is, you see this beautiful little pineapple that God made? The water from the fucking mountains, from Atlantic Ocean in North fucking Pole. It melted, it evaporated, it went into the cloud. It went all the way past the Himalayas into Africa, Mediterranean, wherever it was, it rained. It licked the bush. The bush popped this little baby out, yeah? Do you know how much it is, bruv? 58p. A beautiful... So that little shitty burger, let me tell you something, see this little shitty burger, it's worth two and a half fucking pineapples in this new world we live in. Can you imagine if you got dropped into paradise, into heaven, and you went there, and you looked on the trees and it was all fucking rustlers burgers, no pineapples, right? And God says to you, right, pineapples ain't worth shit no more, blood, yes? Bro, I'm just saying, it's weird that, like, I thought a pineapple would be worth a lot. That's why I bought this, I haven't bought a whole pineapple. I don't think ever. It's probably going to taste like doo-doo, yeah? Because it feels too perfect. Look at it. It's like fucking... This is more prettier than Kim Kardashian. Bro, I might put a smiley face on this, put some legs on it and wifey it. Look how beautiful it is. But, 58p, and this burger's £2. So this better be fucking a banging burger. But we're going to do a little review thing on a Rustler burger. Hammer. The word, hammer lama ding dong, has never been so important. So I'm gonna bang this little bitch in here. Let me read the instructions first and read exactly what this bitch is called. One minute, 50 seconds, leave to stand for 30 seconds. 
Bruv, that was the easiest instructions I've ever seen in my life. Fucking hell, I'm already scared. But a burger is banging, yeah? But the first thing I want to say, I'm about to bang this in the microwave, so... Let me get my shit prepared, let me do my thing. Let me read it to you, though. This is... The Rustler's Flame Grilled Quarter Pounder with cheese and our signature sauce. I know this sauce is going to fuck everything up. Fully traceable to the farm of origin. What is this, bruv? How do you trace it? What do you mean? It should... Everyone else says 100% beef. Everyone else says our beef is Irish beef. Our beef is Scottish beef. I love a bit of Scottish beef. Our beef is English beef. What's this? So what you're saying, we are not denying that you can trace this meat back to where it was made. All right, cool. What if it was made on fucking Mars blood and it's cat? So understand the words. It's not saying it's beef. What it's saying is fully traceable to the farm of origin. Bruh, I've got a feeling that these are the kind of animals on this farm. Here's the farm, look. This is actually Rustler himself. This is what he got named after. Let's have a little closer look. Hello, Rustler. <laughs> <laughs> all jokes aside though, be real. Like I said, I don't care, I know Burger King's just probably, it's all shysty and dirty stuff in there, there's probably caterpillar in the burger. But blood, when you bite into it like this, look, boom, you can't help but feel that the cow was feeling like this when it got cooked. Look at this smile on my face, I taste so good. Mm. See the big grin on his face? That's what it, be real, when you bite into a double XL Burger King burger, you honestly feel like the cow wanted to get cooked because that's how good it tastes. But let me put the little burger in the microwave, one minute, 50 seconds, and let's have a little spondoolie on that one, people. Okay, let's get this show on the road, people. I've already unpacked the delicious Russell's burger, the flame grilled. Look, as you can see, it says it there, yeah? Look what it says, fully traceable to the farm of origin, flame grilled quarter pounder. Let's get this show on the road. First, I wanted to do this in front of you, though, because it's very satisfying. I have to apply the cheese. Oh yeah, go on you dirty little bitch. Oh, then we bang that on top. I'm doing it exactly as the instructions say. We're banging the thing open. We're slapping it right. It says in the center of the microwave, not the left, not the right, the center. Boom. We're gonna hit time. We're gonna hit one minute, 50, ping. Then we're gonna fast forward through this. It's gonna go speedy quick. You see this poster right here? Oh, this poster's a bastard. I've got stories about this poster. I swear to God. See this bastard poster? You little bastard, you. Let me have a little look at this burger. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Trace back to the farm of origin. When I ask you, sir, what is on this farm you speak of? Is it wild dog? Is it giraffe? Is it donkey? What is it? Don't just trace it. I'm making this burger for you, Arquette. I'm showing you what to train the players. This is when, like, when they came. And he gave the cream thing on the cornflakes. I'm showing the new diet. Rustler's burgers. Untraceable meat from an untraceable farm. Will it taste good? That is the question. Mmm. 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 So let's take a closer inspection at the burger. We fresh out the microwave, people. One minute, 50 seconds. Here you can see is the little bad boy. Let me give you all angles of her. It's like a catwalk, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna be honest now, yeah? Honestly honest, no jokes. There's a smell in the room. Since that microwave door opened, exactly one minute, 50 seconds ago, my house smelled normal. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. It smells like Donkeys have had sex in this in this kitchen. There's an unconceivable, unbelievable smell, which is taking me back to my old school days when I went to Arafusa and Hemel Hempstead with the school, and there was hay and sheep and donk. I feel like I'm actually on a farm. So I'm being really honest now. Now I'm starting to understand how they're saying this can be traced back to the farm of origin because even I now. I think this come from fucking either, I don't know, one of them places I just mentioned, Arafusa, Hemel Hempstead, somewhere where they used to take us, because I can smell it. But now, let's get back onto this dirty, look at that, it's reflective. The burger is even reflecting the light, people. That is how 
I don't know what it's made of, but I need to get out of the light because it's reflecting it like a water or a mirror. But let's have a little look at this little dirty birdie. Close up. Oh my God. It's upside down, is it? If I put the cheese the other way. No. The cheese is... Oh, I thought I was going to say it disintegrated. It's on the top half. I thought it disappeared. Now, so there's something here, people. Look, I've got the sauce and it wouldn't be a real review without me banging the sauce on. So I have to do it. But... It doesn't look very appetising, you get me? It looks like fucking carrot piss or something, but it's got to be done. So I've got it here. Here is one of them sachets. There was two in there. I don't know why. Look at it. That's the only thing. The burger might be nice. I'm going to taste the sauce first, actually. Let me cut it open and have a little bang in my mouth. Right. Oh, actually, it's not too bad, but it's sweet. It's sweet, it's sugary. I hate people with the sugar on the meat. All this barbecue shit started to piss me off. Listen, when I was a kid, barbecue chicken and barbecue stuff tastes different. He was put on the barbecue. Now, bruv, it's got 10 tons of fucking sugar in this secret sauce. But, let me have a bang on the Rustler's Burger, quickly. Oh my God, that's hot like a bullet. I can't bite that, people. It's microwave hot. That's fucking... Nick a shower. What's that place called? The nuclear bomb where they let bombs off blood. That's it's that kind of hot. I can't touch that yet. I need to let that cool down. What I will do, let me show you exactly. I need everyone to see and believe. One sec. I don't like this farm of origin place. Things like that really freak me out. Let me turn the camera the other way around a sec so I can get it bang on my don. Look at that, fully traceable to the farm of origin, yeah? Well, can you tell us what's on this farm? Because you're claiming, like I said, now we know, you've told us, this stuff is definitely from a farm and it's traceable to that farm. But most places say 100% beef and this and that. What is on your lot's farm? You get me? I don't know what it is, bruv. Like I said, you might go there and instead of pineapples growing on the trees, there's rustlers burgers, but, I'm gonna have a bang on the old burger. It's still really hot, fucking hell. What is this made of? It's boiling. One minute fifty, there must be a lot of water in it for it to be like that. Okay, it's cooling down. I'm gonna come back in two minutes once it's cooled down, my people. It's cooled down a bit, people. Now this is a little bit cheating because obviously it doesn't come with mayo and ketchup, but every burger I have, I either have ketchup, mayo, or a mixture of the both and the worse the burger the both are usually so I will be putting one of each but also you may be wondering where's all that sauce come from all this ketchup listen what I'm saying to you Burger King this is why I like Burger King because they leave all the mayonnaise and all the ketchup just in a little pot for you to take so I make sure I always take it but I always buy meals, so don't try and come at me, Burger King. If anything, you need to sponsor me. But like I said, as you can see, man don't pay for me. Oh, yeah, it's a Burger King thing. I'm joking. But it is a Burger King thing. Now, I know this is dirty, people. But like I said, I'm a dirty, dirty, dirty burger eater. So instead of their sauce, this is my secret sauce. And you can trace this back to the Burger King in Trafalgar Square. Yeah? Man don't pay for mayo no more or ketchup. I suggest you don't either. No, I'm only joking. But if you buy a meal, it's your right. That's why it's there. I'm so rich in all of this. But yeah. Now, we're going to have our first bite into this dirty, dirty bad boy. So give me a sec. Let's see how dirty the belly gets, people. Yeah? But let's take a burger. A burger, a bite, or the rustler's dirty burger. Mmm! Hmm. It is a bit dirty. There's a little bit of that, sm that smell that I smell, there's a very little bit of that taste and after tasting it. But you know what? I've got to be real. Let me take a bang on this. Oh. 
Man can't have a burger without a drink, blood. <coughs> but that was actually all right. But is it worth two and a half pineapples? I don't know. I'll have to taste the pineapple later. But you know what? Let me take one more bite to double check what's crack at that. quite plain but that's good for a dirty burger let me finish this little bitch and I'll be back to you like one sec well I box that off like Mike Tyson in his prime that was nice listen it was it surprised me for two pounds it's a lot of dough when you think about it yeah compared to a pineapple but it tastes nice for something that's probably been sitting in a box for fucking 10 years till you press a button to microwave it um, smelling the orange, listen, it tastes nice, but it doesn't change what I said. It said can be traced back to the origins of the farm. I still believe, <coughs> excuse me. I see, I'm saying it's bubbling in the dark. I can feel some evil chemical reaction going on inside my body, so I know it's bad. But they had enough, what's that thing called? GSM, G whatever it is, they put in it and they make you like it. They had enough of it in it, because I have to say it was nice. And I would have another one again. So, yeah. It is nice, and I'll have to give that. If the Burger King's 10, Burger King's 10, 10 out of me. Obviously, I told you the gourmet shops are the one, but I explained this out of the price range. But Burger King's the one. But that there, Burger King's a 10, I would have to give that a 6.7. I'll give it a 6.7 out of 10, and I'm very critical. Do you know what I mean? Like, But 6.7 is good, because to be honest with you, like the chicken shop burger, see when you get a burger out of chicken shop, that's like 3 out of 10 for me, so I don't just pick anything up. I'm going to go, people. I'm going to uh, try this pineapple. And what I will say is a 58p pineapple, yeah? If this pineapple is not nice, I'm just saying, if the pineapple ain't nice and the burger is, this is a fishing equipment. When you go fishing in the Caribbean and turkey and scuba diving, I'm going to shoot the pineapple on camera for you. Only if it's not nice. It should be, but if not, I want to see how far the harpoon can go through something in the air, not in water, because it's made for underwater. But yeah, I will shoot this pineapple in this bomb variety. <laughs> but anyway, people, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back soon. You know who it is. It's Arsenal's Realist. I'll be setting the channel up further soon. We want to expand. One day, we do want to go full time, and that's when the real show begins. You get me? But thank you, people. Every sub, every view, every comment, every like, everything helps me and helps this show go on. So thank you very much. Make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you. And do you know what? I won't deny it. I'm not a rider, but you can buy five Rustlers burgers. Five Rustlers burgers for a tenner, let's say. If you was to get a tenner, you was to get one meal with Burger King. That's what you're going to get. One meal with Burger King. Shit little meal, one burger, none of your friends. Do you know what? A tenner, you can get four burgers. Yeah, Rustler's burgers for two pound each. All of your four friends have got a quarter pounder each. And with the last two pound, you can get a portion of small chips from a little shop. Or you can go and buy a two pound bag from Iceland. Stick it in the oven quickly and divide it up. All of you and your friends have got food. So what are you going to do? You gonna spend the pee on yourself or are you gonna rustlers it up? <laughs> See you later, people. Have a good one. Pineapple you later. Make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you.